This conference will now be recorded. Yes, good evening. And today we are going to discuss about the couple of concepts inside the uh, S3 and we already discussed last class. Couple of things. And today also we are going to add couple of things. Now today we are going to discuss about the a couple of things such as S3 encryption. And versioning also. Versioning yesterday we had something like that is a UI or changes. And I didn't use after this UI got changed. And I didn't check that. And that's the reason I'm going to discuss today. But I have just a demo. Okay, and this versioning, and then uh, one more thing like a storage classes. Also, I'll explain like a little bit how we can where we can select the storage classes, or what is the metrics of storage classes, and one. It's very, very, very important when you go for examination level. Okay, and if you want to save your past data while storing your large data, this will be helpful for us. Okay, and the next uh, is the cross cross okay. also resource sharing. Cross how we are going to set up for cross. We'll see like a lot of things we are going to be covered today. And the next class will discuss about the some like as uh, CloudWatch and then uh, RDS and the next IA uh, uh, application on the cloud balancers, high availability and the auto scaling. Yeah. Upon class, we'll discuss again. Let's discuss about the S3 versioning first, and uh, which we already remembered versioning last class, right? Let's go for S3. Go for S3. Yeah, Which we have created last class. Okay. Yes, um created the bucket is yesterday is this one, right? Now we enable for version also. Now see that there is an option there, latest versions. You can find out what is the version is there. Now see, and yesterday I didn't, I didn't show this option. Now see this. Now we had like a, this is the latest one and this is the old one there. Okay. And if you guys are observing here, yesterday we delete this. We didn't find out this one. And if you see here, instead of the best practice here, let me create a new bucket and let me show you how to from scratch. Go back S3 and create a new bucket. GMSD is 27. Test version. So I will do this bucket thing. I like a mobile region. Okay. And if you want to make a public access, you can do any blue version you can do. And then default encryption or advanced system, advanced settings, you can see here. There is a couple of options we have. Let's create a bucket. Now the bucket is created for us and go back here. This one. Go back here and then upload the data here. Upload it here. Objects which are in the here. Upload any files here. Add files and uh, go for uh, instead of the stuff. Any files you can upload, okay, that's not an issue. Your wish. Just a lot of things. You can do for okay, and then do the photo file uploading this photo. Okay, photo that will be digital uploading. Okay, let's start. You see, there is a option skip down. There is a lot of options. Additional upload options. If we click this, there is a lot of more storage classes will come for this object. What is the kind of storage? Like by default, it is a standard option. And if you want to click like a standard iPhone, right? standard IA, like one zone IA, this is like a no higher reliable here. Okay, it's just a user, like a 1999 only, not 999. Okay, and then reduce the freedom in C equal to 10 right? Now, after 30 days, it will be changed to the one. Tiring storage file. Okay, and place here and place a default right? There's the different types. Which one you want to base on your requirement? You need to be sure that you want frequent access or infrequent access like that. All those things are there. Just upload this. 
if you are preparing exam, definitely you guys should be understand this storage places properly. Okay? But in real time, maximum will go for storage or uh, storage. Okay? Different access means you cannot access the same object multiple times. And see if we are, and uh, this is the uh, where we are going to be upload this on this side. And, uh, and the next, if you are see enable option, we don't get anything option here. Now, if you want to enable the option, like this, enable version, go back to the one object now. We are in the bucket itself. We are in the bucket itself. Right now, you see here, this is not enabled for any version. Either. Then go on the upload now, change the your version. In the settings for this, even object level, we can enable this. Yeah, if you see here, bucket for this, enable bucket for this. Okay, there is option for this. And the next, come back here down, 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 storage classes, we can change, access control things, we can change the next metadata. All things. Now, then what we do here is go to the event. It's enabled. The next, once it is done, then go back to the form again. Enable the version. Now, once you enable the version, you will get option called as this list two versions option. If you enable this option, then you will get this option. And the RNC is not there. Now, if you open this, open this, if you click this, you can see the, if you did not before object uploading, if you enable versioning, the version will come in. After uploading your photo or like whatever the objects, if you are uploading, after then only it will be version will show RS before the objects will be shown the null version. What I do, I'm going to upload the same photo again. Let's see. I'm going to upload the same photo again. Add fence again. And uh, See the sub Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then next is this. Then exit this. Then exit this. Okay. Then next, what we do now here is. Mm -hmm. Go for properties. We can see here after from click the latest person. You don't need to go inside that you can enable it. So, and if the X are seen here, there is a two versions here. It's a previous version and this is the latest version. If you close this latest version, this is the latest UID features. Okay. And see here, this is the only version again. And what I do, I'm going to be delete this. I'm going to delete this. Yesterday we did this, if you guys remember. Okay, we delete this. Yesterday we did this, then we come to see the object here. We didn't see the object here. We, we lost here. I thought, right? What happened, right? We, the UI got killed. Even I never about this. Never use it. That's the reason we made stuff. This is And you see, the objects are not showing here. Now, what we do, just enable this list portion. Now you can see here again. That object is not deleted, it just as a marker as a delete marker. The delete marker, okay. If you are the versioning enabled, even if it show the delete marker, we can delete this and it will revert back to the previous one. Okay. Even action, you go for the option. You can delete this. There is an option will come like as a delete permanently. Delete permanently, then delete this. Then don't it delete it permanently. And what happened? The previous version, what we had, that object will come back, roll back to the again. You see, that is what we missed yesterday. See, and we know this. And we'll get back to the new page. Clear? Clear, guys? And if you see here, even though, here, see, the link mark we had here, like as null, and then this version also we had. Even that permanently deleted. Now we got delete marker, we delete it, but still the object is available for us. That is the benefit of versioning enable. Even that by mistakenly something is happening, deleting that object. If you enable versioning, we can roll back out. You can roll back out. That is the important uh, feature of versioning. That is the important feature of versioning. 
clear guys that's we missed this option like yesterday understand guys what we missed yesterday clear uh, yeah so was, madhu uh, yeah uh, so what i understand about this versioning is uh, just correct me if i if it is wrong uh, if suppose we amended any files or added any files uh, so uh, that would that would create another version after uh, changing the bucket if it is the same file okay i'll add multiple files okay if it is the same file okay if it is same file it's not a over it will create a new version okay clear no no that we got understand don't okay, think like this uh, now it won't overwrite the existing object it will create a new version only okay it will create a new version it's not we overwrite that existing one the existing one keep it available and the new one also will be available okay that will be like as increasing this version numbers here it's changing for your version number for every time if i do again one more photo here let me do this again you will understand more It will be this the original question. Okay. Then you are completely painting only will be there. Okay, fine. What happening right now? Let me do this. Simple with okay. Now, for example, let's say there is a S3 bucket. What you did, you uploading a one object, you uploading a one object. Okay, one object you are uploading. Okay, that is object called as a puno.jpg file. Now what happened? If I upload the same thing happened, now what happened? It will be top of this, the null version if you did not enable, and it will be the version one, and it will be the version two. Let's say version one, version two. Okay. The previous is the null, and it will be increasing for your versions here. Okay, but the keep it for all this object if you see here. So if you remove this object, even you can roll back here. That is what we just showing this. Okay, this is the object, first object, which we are not enable versioning. That after later we enable versioning, that will be previous whatever we did not enable, that we are calling as a null by default version is a null. Now, if you see here, only one image will show, right? If you see here, there is a three versions of this object is there. Three versions of this object is there. One is the null and two more here. This is the previous one, this is the latest one. If you see here, uploading time here, if you observe here. Going to do one, 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 one. Yeah. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this latest one. There is a previous version, two versions are there. No, I'm going to delete this one. <coughs> okay, I'm deleting the latest one dot JPG file. Okay, I'm going to delete the permanently this one. Go back here, come back down, and if you see here, if you close this, you can see still we have the object here, even if we delete it. And why it is available? We have the multiple versions. See, the only one version is not deleted here. One version got if you have multiple, that one version got deleted. Now, if you delete the permanently, the previous version we had available. But still, see, I'm going to do it one more time. Here. Let's see, see the difference here. I'm going to do the object here. I'm going to delete here. Delete was permanent delete. Now this is the delete. Okay, when you do the delete, you will get a like as mark as the delete marker. I delete this object. Okay, and see here. If you do answer, you will be realized, okay. It will be confused like so. See, there is no game like a phone dot JPG. Are you the same? But still the object is not showing for us. Yes or no? Yes or no? Clear? This yeah. object is not showing for us. Now, if you delete by mistake, and just what I did, I deleted by mistake, I deleted now. Okay, if you did not enable watching this object, got, it won't show anymore, okay? 
but if you enable versioning the feature is let me go for in a, like a list of versions now if you see here the object is marked as a delete marker here the object is called as the delete marker so see the previous versions which we have and then click this this is the latest one whatever we had okay just delete this i'm going to delete this just move this okay delete this for me just move this i'm asking you i'm thinking go to if you want to speak it will understand it's in some and i deleted the permanently the delete marker one i deleted okay and next it come back here if you guys see it will come back to the roll back to your okay can you see now can you see there's no magic okay there's no magic if you enable your object versioning even the object got deleted it will be fine to the test delete marker we can delete that marker permanently and then you will revert back to the one object here okay if you see here there is a again your version is there clear clear now no confused simple less okay if any objects are before enable versioning if you upload it will show as a null if you delete that object no more available this no more available for us if you enable objects as a versioning if you upload the object if you have the this version something version number is there if you delete that object that object is marked as a delete marker that object is marked as a delete marker but still it's it will it will disappear but still it is available in the list version you can go and delete the delete marker object the previous one whatever we had it will come up the our actual object again. means we can restore that we can restore that understand right gaurav yes madhu got it got it here yeah. okay. do hands on you will understand again okay yeah, yeah. do hands on then you will understand more sure, okay fine sure. now that is for simple like a simple understand the one thing okay if you enable versioning it will more safe for your object if you some like as unfortunately deleting in your environment okay please don't just remember this part okay remember this part then next what we do that's discussing about the encryption okay this encryption is the four types okay this encryption is the four types server side encryption yes okay like a server side encryption client side encryption and these three will happen in the server side encryption okay like as sse and then s3 encryption yes yes s3 encryption and then server side encryption ssc means okay and then ams encryption and then ssc uh c client side encryption this is the client side encryption what does mean here okay what does mean here is no ssc encryption is that the encryption and key managed by the aws key and the encryption managed by by aws okay so managed by aws and then here is that and key is the key like as if there is the kms service one of the service it will be create a key for us it will create a key for us or else we can create manual errors if you don't want even it will be created by itself for you to select the options i'll show this you can create a like as key using key, key management service and then once you create the key and the next what we do it will be a key encryption encryption managed by managed by aws okay encryption is managed by aws now client side is key is yours and this is should be the https we should be the https or request to key is yours key is yours that key that key is yours key is yours and the next you need to send this key along with your object 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 then you will uh, this same key it will be used in the server side of aws and it will be encryption your object it will be encryption your object in the server side server side that is happening this key is your you need to be create that key and that key you need to send to the along with the object you need to send to the aws aws will be encrypted your object then it will be sold to the server side object 
and the next here is that here is the encryption urn locally like as in your data encryption before sending s3 encryption yourself key also storing your your side only there is no key stored in the aws side you should be store your keys in your side and the encryption also you should be done your your system itself at the next after encryption client should be encryption this client should be take care of encryption clients means who are uh, generating a code who are uploading a data objects okay they should be encryption and uploading the encryption data okay. like as while uploading itself it's a encrypted data you need to be upload okay while decrypt even that is also done by yourself only that in your local you should do and if you want to do this these two operation you should do with the like as uh, using any aws cli and those kind of uh, sdks we have we can do this but these two services is created is showing in our aws console these two options is we can able to do in our aws console these two options we can make it by your sdks sdk means like as we need to do the aws cli or something in the port of some apis you need to use and we need to make it this okay now let i'll show this i'll show here and let me show the scale we are getting this now if you see this object open this object which we uploaded just now see that if you guys are observed here storage class is standard server side encryption if you see here server side encryption settings now what happened here is it's got disabled server side encryption is that disabled it's there is no there is no encryption means the object are available like what are the content it has it can be show it for normally okay like as it's not encrypted object okay it's not an encrypted object if you want to make more secure your objects and the next we must do encryption your data encryption your data you know right what is encryption like okay you can use the 256 uh something this ssc also will be using the 256 uh something for if, if you have let me show the official documentation Okay. AWS encryption. SSC S3 encryption. In that Stephen Mark document which I shared, right? Uh, the document has a Clear images, clear images for this event. Okay. Also, for my questions, something like this option document I did regularly, can you use anything in this time? Is where we can go for that and there. Setting default bucket encryption that is for restriction limitations, test the batch operations, storage classes, access point, reading and control aspect creation. How do I set a familiar and different? This is the simply uh, difference between the what SSC, SCKMS, and the SCSCKMS, okay, and those things. But that client tunnel won't be shown here. Now, server side encryption is that if you take care by the managed by AWS. Server side encryption is for AWS key management service with the create the key. What this advantage of this? It can rotate your key, and after some days, and it will be everything. The key is in your hand. Key is in your hand. If you want, you can change the key after some days, and all. 
we can manage our key ourselves. Okay. Or else the system can be maintained. We can go for first option. I need for first option for all my ST bucket uh, encryption purpose in real time. Okay, and uh, even that also will be done by the telephone. Okay. And it is a strict management service for storage. SSC is customer provided key here. SSC is here. And so it will be client master key. This is another two types. That is another two types. This is another two types. You can go for this explanation. What is it? SSC, SSC. Okay, you will get more clear. Don't go for antenna. That is antenna is again uh, like a square stuff for that. Okay. The tool antenna. Okay. I will look about this difference between the all the key management store. Okay, and there's some header crossing and uh, something it has. I forgot that whole header and all. Okay, if you're preparing exam time, that will be understanding if you mark the document. Right? Take this, you will understand this. Okay, I will and I'm preparing this exam only this document. I can go for S3. Okay. And this is the only storage. It's functioning is encryption. And this is S3. Okay, S3 encrypted by S3 object and then manage the database. Game message just we discussed what was the message. What are we done just now? We discussed. Let me show for some headers we need to pass here. Yeah. This is AES 256 encryption type. It will follow the AES 256 encryption type of SSC. Okay. And must be set the header. It will be if you while passing the header will be automatically added for this AES 256. Okay. We'll see this. What it means of this. And if this is the one of object, and go for the next one. The key management. The key is available here, and KMS will give the key. That key we can do for encryption purpose. And if we hear the SSC key, we need to be maintained and we need to send this through the HTTPS only must be do. And the key will be sent here, it will be encryption. List. And the next is like as the key and the labeling to encrypt the object, that the object will be sent here. Okay. That's for four types. When exam preparation is very important, like understand that how many times you can store this in, if you are asking in three purpose or not. Yeah. As for practice purpose. And real time purpose, you can use the SSS3. Okay, that's what I'm trying to show you. Okay, see here. When you click this edit, when you click this edit, and the next go for enable here. Server side encryption. There is a two options we have here. And if you guys are observe here, to upload an object, a customer provided PSSC, and use that AWS LA AWS SDK, but we don't have any option to get. Okay, this is what just I discussed. Now here, yeah, Amazon S3 keys, SSC S3, the encryption object Amazon S3 creates and manage and uses for you. And RS, you can use the KMS. You can see here, there is again three options. If you want, it will create the key for you. This is the key alias and it is the KMS key to create for you. RS, choose for if you already have the KMS key, you can choose here where you have. And if you are using for master KMS, master key ARN means if any other, but another uh, account, Another account, another reason is if you have the key that you can use for that key also. Okay. That key also you can use here, KMS key. Or else you can use for this by default, managed by, uh, it will get for key and it will manage for you. Uh, I'm using this uh, this way of encryption. Okay. I'm in an S3 key. Yes. Save it. The object. And remember, guys, one more thing. Whatever before uploading objects, those objects are not encrypted well uh, before enabling encryption. Okay, whatever we uploaded, those previous objects won't be encrypted. Remember, that's very, 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 very important for you. Okay, whatever the previous we uploaded, those objects are not encrypted. Whatever the new objects are there, those objects only will be encrypted now, or those objects only will be encrypted here now. Okay, let's see here. Exit this. Yeah, we enable server encryption and enable. Okay, I forgot to store for another object. Okay, you can see. 
we enable just now okay we enable that object right now the previous object if you enable anything that objects won't have the encryption option okay now if you do anything by default option will come to the new object any new objects will upload let's see here i did it for bucket level or object level i think i did it for object level okay now let's see here mm. go for some error card space here some file i'm uploading here i'm uploading let's see here go back exit this go back to the other objects now If you see the object is not encrypted here because of we did for object level encryption if you want to bucket level encryption where we need to go i'll show you i'll show you and then what i do i'll go for properties we did for object level encryption last time now i'm going to do a bucket level encryption see, default encryption if you do default encryption you can see here enable same options again in save it now that like as the error.html file is not encrypted because of after that is for object level encryption we did now what i'm going to do i'm going to upload another object let's see here. that object by default will come to the with encryption now upload this anything add a file what i do i'll do for index statistic I'll upload here. Upload it here. Exit here. See here the difference between this and that object and these objects. Okay, there is a three objects and open the index.html file and you can see that it object got encrypted or not. After enable default encryption, see this object got encrypted. Server side encryption is enabled here. Okay. Then go for error.html file. Means even if you do in like what are the previous object which you uploaded, those objects are not encrypted. Okay. If you want to encrypt this, there is a like as even the bad S3 bad process, right? Something we need to choose that or else we need to return our cell script to make encryption. This that is what I did on cell script I written using copy command. I did first, but that is the old way to do, but still I have that that is the one is finding the easy way that's what i'm doing now see here the error one is not encrypted because of it's not enable encryption before the bucket level is it here guys is it here now means if you want to the previous buckets also encryption you must just writing for yourself like as some scripting language you need to here it is here you can here like comments that also i'll share the get done like this Okay, that is for encryption level. Uh, it will be more secure for your object. Okay, be careful of. Well, I already take a summary of last about the encryption. I guess SSC S3, SSC KMS, SSC C, and the next client side encryption. Okay, remember all those. So, that is the one thing. Okay, and storage classes, right? Now let's go and show that storage classes difference. Even I shared yesterday one uh, table, right? This this table is very important for when you return planning for example. Okay. Even you can clearly explain this document. Okay. What is the difference between the S3 standard IA? Yes, which is for data access the less frequent access. Yes, IA means infrequent access. Okay? And this is for intelligent tiring. Okay, intelligent tiring is that the only cloud storage the class is delivers the automatic uh, cost saving by moving objects from between the four access types when you access the pattern change. Okay, 
the S3 intelligent tiring is storage classes designed by optimizing your cost purpose. Okay, now see. Automatically moving the data on the most cost effective access type and without operational overhead, it works by storing all these four access types to uh, two low latency access types, optimized and frequent frequent access and two optional archers which is by design for the asynchronous access for the optimized database for access something like as it will be automatically will move the object from the one classes to another classes that is the purpose of intelligent tiring okay. that is the word this if you upload anything by default it is shown the s3 standard only. Okay. it will be a little bit fast compared to that and one more thing is like we need to understand is S3 free time eligibility. S3 to be eligible. Okay. Don't find S3. There is no S3 at all. What is the feature eligibility of S3? Let's check this. And even though, guys, every service, every service, there is a cost page. You need to go and check for the what is the cost of affected for this for our service and all. Over here and picture machine learning database level and then compute storage go for storage you can store for up to 5 gb for plot plots you can even from the get request from 2000 to up sorry 2000 to request 5 gb standard storage you can free up till 5 gb you can store the data in your s3 bucket there is no charges for you Okay, that is the one thing. And remember, remind one more thing is like uh, S3, even anything, not only S3, for any, any, okay, S3. S3 is not available. Region also it will be changed okay and based on your which region you are showing the data select the region and see that what the five like a 50 db data for monthly how much they are charging for okay and storage pricing for like as uh 50 db after this first to 50 db recharge and now next 50 db recharge okay for gb okay this cost is for gb not per se after 500 db discharge they have to go Okay, intelligent tiring automatic cost saving for her. You can use for this. So, yes. TTP discharges and the next 452 discharges and 500 TV2 discharges. Like as if you want to calculate pricing for you for any service, not only S3, EC2 or maybe a Fargate or maybe like as VPC or Fargate, whatever services which are using, if you want to go for, there is a pricing for every service. There is a pricing page for every service. Go on to calculate, like guess, how much you are getting a price here. Okay. That is the one thing is important for us, like as DevOps administrator. Or for monthly billing, if you want to go back here, go for your uh, my billing dashboard, you can get to know, like as complete details of every month bill, like as what are the bill is happening. For, for which service we are going to store it for which service, and which is the most cost effective is happening. What is the bill for last month and all everything? Okay. Go for bill section. Go for bills section. Okay, this is my bill for last month. Okay, December. This is a December month currently going on bill. This is till now I got for 2000 something. And if I go for November month, you can see how much I got. I got like as 1452 rupees. Okay. 
means like as where I got this no emergency services for total $19 I have spent where I spent here I'm good like as ECS container cluster which I'm going to create where I got two dollars charges and the next again like as remaining like as I got ten dollars fourteen dollars sixty three rupees for this okay for uh, EC2 and the next where we have got the charges now total GST for three dollars per GST okay this is totally this is the last month this is the way where we need to be entire check for the previous month and where we can reduce and based on that we can reduce for those things here for like uh if you go for any company want to make cost reduce and how we can do if you some people don't have access for this admin dashboard okay if you are the admin and all through the things they are going to be doing this okay they are going to do the access for you okay these are the senior mostly i have admin for admin level access Let's if you get get this kind of like I did for a lot of like as when I was joined this company I did for like as 20k per month is their bill then I reduced first how much I can reduce from 20k dollars to I did I can I did k for the 6k now it was like this like as 13k now what happened here is like as uh, we are using some more like a uh, lot of services lot of servers we have created lot of GPU missions we created okay GPU missions for what machine learning purpose. Like a G, G family, G family and P family is there for GP missions, head of this guys. Okay. Fine. Now that's it's game for this. Even one one EC2 instance we are going to pay for like as thousand dollars plus, like as fifteen hundred dollars plus, something like that. One EC2 instance for this. Okay, that is the storage type which we are going to use. And every EC2 instance, for example, even we already discussed about this. And you should be remember here. Class origin means you need to be power the class origin also. This is very important information. Let's keep it mind. Let's discuss what we are solving. Easy to import up from. Okay. This is the website where we can get for the what is the instance or monthly charges, saving plan, these are instances. We'll discuss what is the review instances, what is the on demand instance, what is the spot instance. We'll discuss next. Okay. Fine. The next we are going to discuss about the that is for intelligent typing, all the things. Storage classes removed from one storage to another storage and moving this. That's fine. Based on that, we are. I go for bags of being standard only okay, because of not that much. Okay, that's fine. Small dollars, not for big, big, not TBS of data. We just have the TBS of data only. That's fine. Now, even we can reduce that also. If we can put some time on uh, like this, we can use for intelligent tearing or else we can think about the infrequent access data. Now, I do for data, but right now I'm with this in my work. I do that later when I'm first free. Cool. Then next, what we do now here is like uh, next class origin. What is a class origin means? Let me draw the diagram again. For example, let's say I have a two websites. I have a two websites. No, for example, this website want to talk with. There is some resource on their website too. I want to get this resource. I want to show in the website one. Now what happens if you want to access directly? They won't allow by default. It won't allow by default. What they do with they are enabled for cross origin means cross origin access if they enable then only this or uh, this website will be get this resource to show in this page or as it will show the error like as cross origin, cross origin allow access control list will be failure it won't be allowed for you to get an operation for this any operation what are the cross origin rules if you are set up here then only we can access if you not set up for any cross origin to one one origin origin means what website only like as protocol with your website name and then something something like that okay that we are calling as the origin okay in this scenario okay two website one like as for example let's say if same website they can talk to each other there is no problem here for example let's say there is a two pages are there one page to another page okay if you are calling this page to this page it's around the talk there is no need to cross there is no need to cross here and if you want to talk like as something uh, like for example let's say mywebsite.com 
my website dot com is there. Now it is can access for like an index HTML file. From index HTML file, you are calling from like a JPG like a Puno dot file. Then it will be around say it will be one file. And when you are try to access this Puno dot JPG file or something from in this website, then no, no at all, not at all work here. Okay. Now for example, this object is there here, something like a Puno dot JPG file something. You have this data in this in this in this website and you want to access this photo to inside this website it won't allow because of it should be enabled to cross out elements if you want to talk the two website here like this website is that okay other website other website dot com is another reason another another uh, another origin yes okay if you want to talk to another one with one origin to another origin no you should be enabled the cross then only we can be able to access your data from one website to other website or else we can't or else we can't clear guys origin i guess class origin difference class resource class resource definition we have just class so let me show this i'll show this very easily Class origin resource sharing. Okay, let me open this. Then only we take this. Okay. okay, we need to enable class. Then only we can access here. Okay, rarely we can use this scenario. Okay, but remember this also may be exam kind of very very important. Okay, now we need to enable class and all the things. Rarely they expand here. Something same like what I discussed here. Class alone, class access control request header need to be alone, or else it won't be work. Okay. This is what we need to give the permissions. Okay. We'll do this now. We'll do this now. Okay. Fine. If we want to do this, I at least I do with the normal website. You guys will understand the first scenario and then we'll do for next scenario later on. Okay. Let's go for uh, okay. What I do uh, in this start HTML file is there and then go open this. Let me show this what it happens. Okay, it has this file. Okay, even um okay. Any file I have, any photo I have there. Any photo is there. This is what I practice for based on this example. I'll take this extra page. Open this. This is extra page something. Okay, and this is extra page. Now go for here. Index.html file. Now this is this next file. Okay. This is just I open. Now here what I do, I'm going to use for the same. If you have the same here, there is no cost, it's no profit. Process and resource access. It's not a good. If you are using like this, what is the file name? Copy this. Close this. Yeah. Put it here. Okay. Don't think about this code. Or just I'm running this uh, JavaScript code. From a website, one website to another application, another file I'm calling inside this. The same like as how we go and see like a multiple logos here, and they will call like this only. They will fetch this data. I'm calling this another page here, another page from inside this. Okay. Inside this page, I'm going to call it. Then see what I do. I'm going to save this. Let me upload this in the which we have created the three bucket plus plus. 
from static website we are created, right? What is that? Wait. If we create the static website, like what is that? This one, right? Now, what I do here is uh, proper properties. Whatever we have previously, like just I'm trying to show you there right now. We are enabled for last class static website hosting. I hope you guys have seen right. Just I'm using the same URL here right now, just accessing the website. Which we are already done the like your permissions and then uh, all those things we are done. If you see here, this is a website we are done. Now there is no extra page, nothing here. Okay, there is no extra page, nothing here. See here, it's not be there in this HTML file. What I do, I'm going to override this index.html file to latest class origin index.html file. Okay, let me save this file first of all, which I modified. I think it's already saved. If it is saved, means you go in the blue here. Let me go to objects and then upload this object, which is available in my desktop. Okay. I'm uploading this. So go here and the next go to upload the object. Add files here. Now go for next start statement. Okay, once we upload it, just go to this page and then refresh this. Just refresh this. If you guys are observed here, right? We don't have any extra page here in this page. Just refresh this. Yes, I'm sure there is a one something. I'm sorry, something went wrong. Okay. Something came. This came for error message or what? Let's. Mm -hmm. What? What is the reason behind this? Understand, right? What is the problem? Let's find out this. This is a error page game. Error page game because of even that file we are uploading. But what happened right? in bucket that is file is not there. Extra page file is not there. That is the reason behind that this error. Basically, what I'm trying to show you is I need to get this output. This is extra page, but that output is not came. Which which is a game now? The error error page file you get it. What is the error page file we have here? This file data is game. What is the file data it has? Okay, hello, this page does not exist. Some there's some error, some error page I've written here. Not this, I think another error somewhere we are uploaded, right? Oh, where it is, see if I want from here. This is what we uploaded yesterday, right? And then open this. Okay, I'm sorry, something went wrong. This is the message is displaying here. Okay, because of that error file is there. Because of the website is not accessing, that is the reason we are getting that. Right now, what I do here is let me go for here bucket and the next go to objects here and then upload an object now. The extra page I'm going to upload here. There is no extra page here. Okay. Upload here and the next what I do here is uh, add files here. It's not up stuff here. Okay, I go this. I don't know. Extra extra build that index extra build that HTML file. Let's upload this. No, just after uploading, just go to your website and then do this. Okay. I'm sorry, something went wrong. Right? Just refresh this now. Now we will get this extra page. That output got here. Now, if it is same bucket, we will get right. We will get easily. Okay, we will get uh, easily without any issue. But now, we have, if you have the same bucket, we don't need to put you the any extra class here. But in case this extra file is available in the some other bucket here, 
some other bucket here. So that's some other bucket, some other website thing. If you want to download this uh, file, uh, this page to here, then what can I do? I need to enable the translate. Understand, guys? How to all? Even we'll do the answer next class. Okay. We'll do the next classes. If the same, that's is is working fine. But if you are different website, then it will be it won't work. Okay. We can make it. Clear guys, understand? Right. How many S3 we can attach EC2? That you are used to. That's not S3, EC2. That we can create a policy. We can give the n number of buckets over there. Or else we can give the permission like uh, full S3 access to that EC2 role. Okay. Understand, right? We can create a role and that role we can attach to that uh, easy to instance then all buckets we can access or as particular buckets only you can access you can return your custom policy uh, create a one role attach that policy to that role that role we can attach to the our easy to instance understand right how many buckets in that that policy you can uh, mention all the bucket names you can return them right? Maybe we have any restrictions on this. Even it is not possible. Clear, guys? 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 Clear, I think so. We even though we can't get a, like lakhs of buckets in no? anyways, like as you can get a couple of buckets, even all buckets you can do that. So I don't know like any number of can do. So you can list simply give the policy here, like as bucket name. You are bucket air and so here will be the number of buckets here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe it depends on the size of the bucket, how many we can allocate. That's what we are in this right? Or if you have up to 5 GB, we can upload the same bucket data. Okay. If you want to let like, us 5 GB more, then you can do the multi part upload that we are seeing yesterday class. Yeah, yeah. Even if you want to store multiple, like lot, lot big data, under, there is a couple of uh, options they have in AWS, okay? like a data by data. Okay? There is a snowball and those kind of options. Okay. Fine, thanks. Cool. Okay. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow next class for the many class. We'll discuss next class. And later we'll go for tomorrow itself. Uh, we'll discuss in the cloud wars also. Storage your tomorrow I'll show the uh, real example of role and uh, yeah. You'll understand that. Okay, guys, and see you tomorrow then. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye, hello.